hi everyone how you doing welcome back to my channel again my name is fumi and if you are new here thank you for coming thank you for stopping by i really do appreciate and if you are an old subscribers you guys are my gist thank you for coming over and over again like guys it actually feels like an holiday because the last two videos i posted were videos i've filmed since 2021 and it's like i'm back to work so this <laughs> so today's video i'll be doing something different like someone is saying you're always seeing something different it's actually different yeah if you remember in the, my introduction video i talked about the father i'm going to be sharing my faith journey with you guys how the relationship has been with the lord and stuff like that so today i'm going i want to bring you along to this that i tag conversations with the lord yeah conversations with the lord series so take this as series one when i was growing like growing in faith i remember i had awesome and great conversations with my lord like i literally would discuss with god and it was fun you see talking to god speaking with god is actually interesting it's actually fun if you can just stay tuned all right it's not it's not the normal praying like you are praying, Lord, Lord, Lord. But this time around, I will sit and I will actually discuss with the Lord. I will say, Lord, what's up? How are you doing in heaven? How are the angels? <laughs> How is everything? Why? I would sit down and I remember that when I was in OAU, that was in the university, we have this um, sports center. Oh, you people even know sports center, comment below, let me know. <laughs> so this sports center, so during those periods, those breaks in between lectures, I'll just, maybe I have a lecture by 12, and the last one was 10 a.m. So I'll just leave my lecture room from 10 then. I'll just walk to sports complex, and sometimes, not all the times, I'll sit, and I'll ask the Lord so many questions. There are times that I'll ask the Lord questions, there are times I will talk, and he will talk back to me immediately, and after the discussion, I'll just carry my bag, back to go back to class and there were times that i will say everything i want to say and god will not say anything and since they decided not to say anything i'll still carry my bag and leave but during the course of the week during the course of the day the lord would actually speak to me and it is actually it is actually one good way that god that we talk that we roll so during those times, I remember one of the conversations I had with the Lord. That was when I was trying to understand purpose. You know, when people, were, when people used to say, you need to know purpose. Ah, by 20, if you don't know purpose, you are doomed for life. And at those times, those times, guys, I would literally ask the Lord, what am I meant to do? What is my calling? What is my purpose? Yes, I know I have the call of God upon my life, but what am I meant to do? And stuff like that. And... Later on, yes, let me put it here. Later on, I understand our purpose is about knowing Christ and make, making Christ known. It's just that the different ways by which we make Christ known is different, is unique for each individual, okay? So for each person, the way you make Christ known, for a doctor, for a medical doctor, I'm not saying your purpose is a medical doctor or being a medical doctor but it can be a platform for you to make jesus known do you understand maybe there is a patient that comes to visit you and after consultation after the day after you've prescribed you can just say madam this is what the lord has for you this is you just give that person word of key a eh, word of knowledge and just tell the person you are healed and that's just it you see you are making christ known through that avenue through that platform so guys i'm going to discuss about purpose and everything later so let's go back to this my gist eh? <laughs> way to the end <laughs> So I was trying to ask the Lord, okay, what do you want me to do? What do you, in what capacity do you want me to serve? What do you want me to do for you? You understand? So, and God was actually telling me a lot of things, but there was one God told me, and I, I actually, God said, okay, you are going to do stuff concerning family, concerning relationship. And at the initial state, I, I was like Paul. I didn't reject it. I said, okay, if that is what you have, me, if that is what you want me to do, why not? <laughs> I will do. But, okay, I remember that after that 
section after I actually know what God was saying, then I met my husband and we those times and we have to this we have to discuss okay purpose that so that there will be synergy of purpose and I can remember he said that oh there is a part of my ministry that it's a family building and for me your wife is the one that will be the stakeholder like the shareholder so it was a confirmation to what God was telling me also but you know after a while I got I saw this post on Facebook and the post was like, oh, why is it that all the female ministers in this generation are into relationship, are into family? The only time they have to preach is one family Sunday that they will talk, come and talk about family, they will talk about uh, relationship. Is there no female apostles again in the country? Why are all of them doing the same thing? Ah, oh, my God. And it was coming from a man of God, okay? So I felt, wow, maybe I didn't hear well. Maybe, maybe I didn't hear well, maybe, so I just decided, oh, it's true. Why is it that all the female pastors, all the pastor's wives are into family, are into relationship and stuff like that? So I said, I'm not interested just because of that. I said, I'm not interested. I want to do something different, okay? I don't want to be like uh, the Funke, the Pastor Funke Adejuma. I don't want to be like Dr. Odukoya. I don't want to be like uh, you know, all the female ministers, you know, all the large area that are talking dirty intelligently. Why? I don't want to be like them. I want to be one of the female <laughs> apostles. So I went back to God. I said, God, I want to be a female apostle. I want to be like Ketri Kuma. I want to be like Joyce Mayer. I want to, uh, I want to do stuff for you. I want the healing anointing. I want to, to stay in one place and people are just falling under anointing. Oh my God, guys. I wanted it. I wanted to be a female apostle. So I said, God, I'm not interested in in that any longer. I want you to give me the power to do miracles. I want to heal the sick. I want to raise the dead. See, I understand. I want to, don't want to do the normal. <laughs> I want to do the, uh, the spectacular, yeah. So that people will know that I don't arrive like God is really using this girl. Hmm. And God just kept quiet. God didn't say anything. I said, go talk now. So for a moment, for a while, I was not really focusing on my call. I was not doing that which the Lord was asking me to do. Even at that, I, 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 the grace was there. Yeah, I had the grace. I could see a, a red flag in another person's relationship. Like the way I even give counsels to my friends, to people around me, to my sisters, you understand? And the, the, the grace was so strong that when you come to me and tell me, and tell me you have an issue in your relationship or uh, this person, you are, maybe you guys are into a relationship, I can, I can just actually tell you that. The relationship is not going to work. And guess what, guys? That relationship will not work. <laughs> and if I say, like, this relationship will work, like, the grace was just so evident. But I was not interested. I was like, give me the healing and waiting or nothing. <laughs> and God kept quiet, like I said. So it took me a, long, a, a very long time to come into the awareness that, see, this is what the Lord wants me to do. And just stay in your calling, okay? Stay in your calling. That is it. That is what the Lord told me. So I went back to God. I said, God, I'm sorry. Fine. I understand that this is what I wanted to do. I wanted to be like someone else. But this is what you want me to do. This is an aspect you want me to do. And so I told the Lord. And the Lord began to explain some things to me, okay? In those conversations, God began to tell me, number one, see, my dearest daughter, there are so many lands to be taken. The fact that people are doing it, a lot of people are doing it. There are a lot of people on this planet. So each person to our own territory, each person to his own territory, God is saying, I'm saying, do, it, do this, okay? Because that is the territory I want you to man, okay? There are so many lands to be covered. And I repented, okay? And... <laughs> And since then, even though I've not really entered into that call, yeah, it's just season after season, okay? Because sometimes I even, I don't even like to do it because I believe I'm blunt. So when you come to me and tell me about your relationship, and even later, I don't know how to persuade people, okay? My husband is very good at that, being diplomatic, pampering people. I don't know how to pamper you. I'll tell you you are wrong, you are wrong, okay? <laughs> so still, but I know where I belong. I know what to do, all right? And I'm doing it by the day, little, little by the day. So what am I saying? Why am I bringing on this conversation? Why am I telling you this gist? How am I giving you this gist is that 
Is there anything God is saying you should do? Stay in your calling. In respective of how, how let me say, infinitesimal it might be to you, in respective of, of the way it is at the moment that you can't even see the future, okay? Stay in your calling. That's number one lesson. Stay in your calling, my dear brother, my dear sister, my subscribers on this channel. Stay in your calling. Stay in that. Even if it's little, even if it's sweep the church or do this or feed the poor, it might not look celebrated, okay? But do it. Stay in your calling. And when you stay in your calling, there is grace for it. See, when you see a lot of people struggling and things they are doing in things maybe in things they are doing they should go back to god they should go back to the drawing board they should go back to to check it is is it the lord that has sent me if it's not the lord that has sent me guys you're going to struggle but if it's by the law the grace for it will just be evidence you will flow in that dimension like never before okay even while I was saying that I want the healing and anointing, God was telling me, I said you should do family. I said you should build family, family building. In it, the, in it my healing and anointing will run through you. In it, you will heal homes. In it, you will, you will make, you will bind homes together and stuff like that. Okay, you are going to, you are going to make f f strong homes that is built on the rock for the lord and that is enough is a miracle that is enough is is the miraculous is the spectacular and before you know it and that was the the, 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 the conversation okay so while i was looking at the spectacular when i was looking at okay this is what i want to this is what i would like to do god is saying even in your calling you will see all those things manifesting you will see it clear all right so and another thing is, don't let anybody bully you. Don't let people's opinion, don't let it count when it comes to what the Lord is telling you to do. What the Lord is asking you, what the Lord has said you should do. Don't let people bully you. Don't let their opinion, you know, when you, when you, when you talk to some people, they say, ah, mm, no, no, don't let their opinion count, okay? I had the discussion, I had my own fears, I had my own struggles because... The post I saw online affected me. Do you understand, guys? Don't, don't allow people's opinion. Let God have the final say. We are soldiers for Christ, right? Yes. So when it comes to God and you, you should be ready to take orders. And that is it. Take orders from God. Let God tell you the direction. Let God tell you where to do it, where to sow, where to even plant the church, okay? Where to even do the ministry, the way, don't, don't just, when the Lord tells you something, don't just go and look for someone, prototype and copy the person, no. No, God is a God of, God is unique, okay? So let him give you the prototype, let, it hand, let him hand it over to you, all right? Don't try and copy anybody. Don't copy anybody. Don't, don't let people's opinion discourage you for doing what God has said you should do. And don't forget there is grace. There is grace for your call. No matter how small it is, I can't stress this more than this. There is a grace for you. And the grace, you, you, you might not feel it. You might not be falling under anointing here and there. But I tell you, there is grace when you stay. And last, let me put this out. You know, Second Peter 1 verse 10, if I'm correct, okay, says, be diligent and make your election. Make your calling. Make it sure. Okay? See, when you stay in your calling, what God has called you to do when you stay in need. Oh my God. People that, have, the people that don't believe in that vision will begin to believe in it. They will begin to buy into it. Just be diligent and make your election sure. Make it count. Let people know that indeed the Lord has called you. That is the only way you can justify it. You see, that, 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 that writer, that pastor said, oh, 
every pastor's wife is doing it. But I'm saying this is what the Lord has said it, I should do. So I'm going to stay in my call. The grace is there already. And I'm going to do that which the Lord has commanded. That is making it sure. And I'm going to be diligent about it. So that is it, guys. But I felt be, be, be ready. Be ready. We are going to have some conversation in February, right? Love talk. So just, just, just tune in. That is it, guys. That is what I wanted to share with you. Let me know in the comment section. Have you struggled with the call of God upon your life? Let me know in the comment section. Let us chase. How are you able to overcome it? Then are you struggling with people's opinion? You can let us discuss also. All right don't forget to subscribe all right don't forget to comment if this message has really blessed you is what i said conversations with the lord i had i have so many so just look forward i'm not saying i'm going to be doing this every week it might just be once in a month might just, you might not even see anyone again but it's just a serious conversation with the lord i hope this blessed you all right guys so we'll see you again in the next video. Remain blessed. I love you. Bye.